ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है They go to Mike Brown car, y'all. Today is a beautiful day to arrest Darren Wilson. <laughs> I love that sign. <laughs> there's a drum. Hey, you guys, there's a fucking drum. You know how excited that makes me? I want to welcome Mark Boykin. Yeah! I want to welcome the students and, and, and professors from Washington University. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the people from New Orleans get here yet? Don't forget me. And a special mention of Josh. Josh. So we're going to be getting getting going shortly, but I want people to know this is happening in 80 plus cities around the country. This is, this is part of a whole month of resistance that's aimed at putting a giant stop sign like that one some of you are holding in the face of America. That can't be ignored, that can't be covered up, that can't be whited out, that can't be suppressed. That says this program of criminalizing the youth. Young men and women, especially black and Latino, who grow up with the targets on their back. A record level incarceration system. 2.2 million people in prison. All that which combines to create a situation where there's millions of stolen lives in this country. People who face racial pro profiling, brutalization, discrimination, and brutality all the time. And that has got to stop, and we have got to stop it. Again, this is happening in 80 cities across the country. And there's something special this year. Someone asked, this is the 19th year this started, since it started in 1996. What's changed? Well, two things have changed. One is this program of massive incarceration and criminalization has gained momentum. It's even more terrible than its consequences for whole communities. But something else has changed, particularly in the recent times. What happened in Ferguson when the youth, the defiant ones, many of them are here, stood up after the murder of Mike Brown, Mike Brown right up the street, shot, unarmed, shot by Darren Wilson, remind you, 75 days of no indictment, and then left to die for four and a half hours. People standing up night after night against the police, against rubber bullets, against tear gas, against armored personnel carriers, against dogs. Woo! That defiant stand sent a wake-up call and a stand-up call across the country that was resonated so deeply because people had felt the same pain across the country, whether it was Ezel Ford in Los Angeles, which ha also happened in August, or Kajimi Powell only three miles away from here, or Oscar Grant, or Eric Garner. Or Alan so it became a wake-up call, and that combined with some other important things, like the prison hunger strikes in California against solitary confinement, have represented a new wave, a new wave of resistance that has to be spread and deepened across the country. Shout out to the California uh, resistance that concentrates it, but it says we pledge to commit resistance to no the more the mass incarceration, no more the police brutality, yeah. and that's what this is about. After coming out of this month, and just to back up one second, the month of resistance to stop mass incarceration, police terror, and the criminalization of a generation, they call for the month of resistance. It was co-founded by Cornell West and Carl Dix. And they launched this last April. And this is part of it. And this is to be a launching pad. Again, to send a message, anybody with an ounce of justice should be outraged. There's no reason anymore for people to turn their heads and say, I don't know this is happening. It's happened again and again and again and again. And again and again, the police are not punished. 
John Crawford in Ohio, no indictment. Eric Garner in New York, no indictment. You've seen the videos. Indiana, Mike shout Brown, out no to you. indictment. To Jimmy Powell, no indictment. And Von Derek, Von Derek Byers, that's being pushed under the rug. So again, we want to um, welcome you here, and we're going to have a short rally. And um, where's my co-counsel here? Nikki. But anyway, we uh, we have a couple of people that want to speak. Lost voices. L B. L B. Lost voices. L B. Lost voices. When we talk, we talk no. about the defiant ones that sent the wake up call and stand up call. The lost voices were part of them that stood up, refused to go home despite all the pressure, intimidation, brutality, and all that. What's up, how y'all doing? Good. Appreciate everybody coming out. My name is Mel. I'm one of um, nine members of the Lost Voices Rebel Team, Rebel. Um, the thing uh, we want to mess y'all um, get out to everybody, man. Listen, y'all see it every day, man. They steady, 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 steady putting all this weak, 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 weak ass shit they're doing now. They don't want to show no justification for what the fuck they did. But I'm going to tell y'all, like I said from day one, I ain't going nowhere until I get the fuck I came out here for, and that's justice. They can see how they can put it how they want. They can look, I want justice. I want it. 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 I we're gonna be out of day when they watching us like we some straight up criminals. For real. Right. They straight up chicken hawking us. Like they straight up yeah, came man. in the building where we have our, our, our meetings at and said that we can't even be in the building saying they be in there sleeping in the building. Come on, y'all. 15 people sleep in the building? Really? Come on, now. Y'all know how they trying to do it. They gonna try to push the paint it every way they can because they don't want to uh, give us the justice that we seek. Are we gonna get justice? Yeah. Are we gonna get justice? Yeah. Yeah. Say it loud. Yes. Yes. Now act like y'all scared to say it. Say yes. 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 There you go. We're going to get justice. We're going to they give it to us or we get it the way we want to get it. We're going to get it. No we're going to take it. By any means take necessary. It. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what. No matter what the organization you with. No matter who you know. No matter the race of them. We all want the same. If we all on that Mike Brown justice. Fuck the police unjust and we all on the same team. So regardless of what the race, what the what's the what's the organization, what they the show is, united we stand. Divided we fall. 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 And that's what we gonna have to do. We gonna have to stay unified. We gonna have to stay together. We gonna have to fight this fight. That's the only way we gonna win. The only way we will win is with numbers. We got to be deep, we got to be together. And that's the only way we're going to do it. And we're going to stay out here until we get it. Let me say one thing if I can. I'm sorry, my friend, you want to go first? Hi, everybody. How everybody doing out here? All right. Good, good. All right. What's up? I'm Darren Seals, known as King D. Seals, also known as Young OG. I'm, I'm with Hands Up United. I'm with Lost Voices. I'm with everybody. Please speak louder. I said I'm with Hands Up United. I'm with Lost Voices. I'm with every organization out here. I've been out here since day one. Black Lives Matter, New Black Panthers, whatever you call yourself, Ben, and you out here and fight for Mike Brown and fight for justice in general, I'm a part of you. We need real unity. All this marching, picket signing, protesting don't mean a damn thing. If we go back to doing the same things we were doing, before Mike Brown went down. That's right. Ain't no business as usual. We've been marching, protesting for generations and generations and generations. The one thing we've, we've yet to do is truly stick together. Economically. We need to have relationships with each other. It shouldn't take 
Mike Brown being gunned down must have come together. And let's be, and let's be more even honest than that. It shouldn't take quick chip being burned down once it come together. Because half of y'all didn't even come from Mike Brown. Exactly. When Kevin Ball died last year, he didn't get none of this. When Jared Harris got kicked by police burning him last year the same way, he didn't get none of this. We got to start valuing each other's lives. That's right. For real, man. This ain't no joke. This is, this, this, this. Man, I, I swear, man. We got to stop internalizing this. I'm so fucking hurt right now because I'm knowing what they finna do. I told myself from day one we weren't gonna get justice for Mike Brown. Only justice we're gonna ever get is the justice we make. Darren Wilson must be indicted in these streets. Because the government not gonna do it. They didn't do it for Sean Bell. They didn't do it for Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Dan Roy Henry, Kerry Ball, Jerry Hurst, Alan Blue, Emmett Till, Oscar Grant. This been going on far too fucking long. <laughs> and I'm tired of us doing the same thing every time. We get together, we march, we mad for a couple of weeks, this time a couple of months. We need to be mad for life. That's right. Yes. The whole world need to be changed. Yes. Stop With the up. Oakland Raiders oh, emblem, exactly. love it. Black crime. Black Stop black killing black. each other. We need black, everybody Black is not just a color. It's an attitude. We must come together. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're Hispanic. I don't care what you are. If you're a person and you care about life, you care about people, yeah. we must stand together. Yeah. This is about right versus wrong, not black versus white. Oh, yeah. they, put, they put that poison in our minds. They taught us that we were little boys in our schools. They trained us to hate each other for our skin color. Yeah. Instead about black and white, it's about these people that's controlling the world that want to continue to see us oppressed. To continue to see us dead. To continue to see us suffering. We can change the world. We got the power right here. We just got to use our minds. Think. Stop hating each other. Stop killing each other. We're having to have conversations. Love your, love your brother. Look at this sister. She was arrested for protecting her black daughter from a white man who hit her black daughter in the face this for way. using her First Amendment right to protest. He spit all in the girl's face. And they were arrested. He was, let, he was let go. Why? Because he's white and they're black. That is a big problem. What if a black man? If a black man spit in your face, you right there. I'm not standing by his side. Cause that's wrong. It's time to wake up, man. Wake up! Cause they're not even getting us no more. They're getting the children. Him. Yeah. His age. How do you? How do you? Eleven. Eleven. Seven years from now, he could be Mike Brown. Yeah. Five years from now, he could be Trayvon Martin. Yeah, right now. He could be there right now. Right. Two years. They scared of him. Thirteen to twenty-three. You know why? This generation way more intelligent than the last one was. Exactly. We living in an age of information. You can't hide the truth no more. Yeah. All you got to do is go on YouTube. Yeah. Hit that library. Hit that. Nowadays they read now. Back then they ain't read. Now they read. Yeah. They got to read the text. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they, say that. they say we don't. You got to read the text. Shit. All you do is push the But it's going to take action, man. Real action. That's right. And I'm not talking about just walking around marching every day. That's cool. I'm here because I support that. But it's going to take real discipline. We need to re-educate these, these children about the truth in America. Let them know what really happened. I stand with we you didn't up, come. We weren't, we weren't born slaves. We came from kingdoms, great empires. We were tricked. We were sold out by some of our own people, but most of us were tricked. America has been ran off slavery, oppression, robbery, and murder. This is not a great empire. This is not a great place. They lie. Not the land of the free. Oh, Ain't nobody out here free. Freedom is an illusion. That's right. We are sharecroppers. We, we gotta work every day for someone else. You got a job, you a sharecropper. Yes. I work every day. Every day. 12 hours a day. And I still come out here. You know my biggest problem? I see all these women. We need to be out. All these men need to be out here. Right. Half of them don't even got jobs, but they still won't come. Yes. How could you not come? Yes. About two men dying. They don't get and I want to put their blunts in their bed. We're not even. It's not even human. We're not even human no more. We became monsters. Yes. We don't care 
when a 17 year old, 18 year old boy dies? Yeah. We don't care about that? We ain't even human no more, man. And I'm so hurt right now. I'm just rambling because I'm so fucking hurt, man. I'm so fucking hurt. I'm not a man of tears, but I'm so fucking hurt right now. Because we keep dying. And we keep on just going on with our day. Like ain't nothing happened. In a minute, they're going to pick us all apart. One. About one, they doing about one, about one, That's why we gotta one, stick together. They gonna keep Damn. on picking us apart till we all gone. And then what's that gonna fit in? We should have did something. We should have helped them. It's gonna be too late then. Yeah. Then God gonna get you. Yeah. The real coma gonna come back. All right, share, baby. Share your ass, baby. This is real, man. We gotta change this world. That's right. Fuck the president. Yeah. There we go. Fuck the mayors. There we go. Fuck the governor. There we go. Fuck the police. There we go. Fuck the system. There we go. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. That's the only way this world gonna change. If the people change. The power's in the people. We must change. It ain't just the cops. We said fuck the police. Fuck the system. They suck the whole damn thing. This is systematic. They are just pawns. They've been brainwashed. They've been trained. They've been misled. It's okay, brothers and sisters. Sure, baby. Tell Fuck them. Them. A lot of them don't even know why they racist. Brothers and sisters. They ain't nobody born racist. They wrong. They don't know. You know how many white friends I had when I was a baby? When nobody born racist, this is a talk. It can be untalk. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Sure, yeah. baby. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But it ain't it ain't gonna change until we change. For real, for real. And it got it gotta be real. Let's quit talking about this shit. Let's put our money together, let's put our minds together, let's put our hearts together let's and change up. this world for our children. Yes. Or they're going to be the next victims. You don't want black kids growing up hating white kids because they're white. Right. You don't want white kids growing up hate black kids because they're black. That's ignorant. Yes. Judge a man by his heart and by his character, Amen. not by his skin color. Amen. Thank you. I love everybody that love. That, if, you, if you love me, I love you right back. Regardless of your color. But if you stand on damn western side, I don't got not a, a drop of love for you. I don't got no love for you. You can fall with him. You can fall with him. That's you can burn that. in hell with him. Eternal hell. Because he ain't gonna never sleep at night. Hell is eternal. All that spooky stuff they teach us, it's about mind control, man. We gotta start controlling our own destiny, our own neighborhoods. All these black people in this neighborhood, we don't own nothing. That's a major problem. Anybody with common sense know that's a problem. Okay. If I go in a, a dominant white neighborhood, it's not gonna be controlled by all blacks. Let's be honest. Let's be real. Lay it down, It's only, what, how many people in this world? It's only seven billion people in this world. We got one or two men with their money to take care of everybody in this whole fucking world, and they don't. That's a big problem. Stop spending your money. Stop buying Gucci, Louis, all of that. I know I'm in Nike right now. I know I'm in Nike right now, but guess what? I'm talking to myself too. We all gotta, we, we gotta be disciplined. This is so serious, man. This is, this is, this is such, and, and I love Mike Brown, but this is even bigger than him. This is about, listen, this could be our last chance to make a stance against this. If we let this ride, Ain't no turning back. We're gonna be slaves forever. All this martial law, this boring, all these rumors, that's an offensive word for slavery. Right. I ain't going for that. I'll be a dead motherfucker on West Clawson before I ever be a slave. I'll be a dead motherfucker on West Clawson before I allow any of y'all to be slaves. We gotta quit sitting in the house watching the news. That's propaganda. That's poison. They lying. Turn it off. Turn that shit off. Want to know about Ferguson? Come to Ferguson. Come to Ferguson. Right. Talk to us. We out here every day. We decent people. All we want is justice. We don't want to hurt nobody. All we want is justice. We got, we got to fight to get it. We're going to fight. You see that? Follow us. Get out your way. That's how they do it when we ask for justice. The same law they taught us. The same things they taught us, they taught me when I was a child. That's right. I can protest. That's right. They taught me when I was a child. Who they If someone hurts me, they going to jail. They lie. Years of institutional. They taught me this, and now they breaking it. The, 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 the laws they taught us. Exactly. How can we ever trust the government? Exactly. The they all devils, all of them. Black, white, Hispanic, 
Whatever you are. If you're a part of that system, you're a part of the fucking devil. Yeah. All I ain't doing nothing about it, you part of it. If, you, if you're not doing anything about it, you neutral. Bro. Really if you no neutral, you guilty of the action of the If you sit behind the pool pit, all these pastors taking all our fucking money. But when it goes, when it goes down, I don't see none of them. It's a, it's a they are part of, yeah, I see a couple of them. I'm getting credit where it's due. I see a two or three or few. That's the longest. But the majority rules. Right. Majority of taking our money and they're not supporting us. All these stores, we support them. We spend the money, 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 money every day, all day. Where they at now? You know why I ain't give a damn about Creek Trip running down? Because the man that owned Creek Trip didn't give a damn about Mike Brown. Man. How many, how many of these stores came out and actually said, hey, we sorry about Mike Brown. We support him. No one. When the motherfucker burned down, I everybody care about him. Oh, when we boycott their business. Oh, when we boycott their business. To Mike Brown quit spending him. money. Right. Now everybody love that. Mike Brown. Right. We it shouldn't that. take that. The moment he was unarmed and dead on the ground, we should have got all the support all over the fucking world. So That's all this should have took. This should have took all this. That's it, right? Mike Brown means we gotta fight back. That's all I'm stressing. We gotta fight back. With our fist and our mind. We gotta fight with your mind and your heart. Fight back! 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 It's in our hands, right here. We didn't choose this. When Mike Brown died, I only asleep and happy to be out from work. I didn't choose this. This chose us. God chose the middle of the map. It's up to us. If we don't do it, it won't be done. What's your name? My name is Darren Seals. They call me King D. Seals. King D. Seals. Do you got a Twitter? Hello, everybody. Let me say something for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to add to what my brother said, this system been set up for a long time to divide black, white, all types of race. Some have been going along for years from grandpas, grandmas, great great grandmas, grandpas. And we've been poisoned to the TV and to the news media. But let me tell you something today. This ain't a this this Mike Brown just a name. Lord use him for a body to make us take a stand. Man, student, I'm not this is about the whole effing world. I'm going to say this. Mike Brown means we got to fight back, and police brutality means we got to fight back. This is for the world. I thank God for Mike Brown because God used him for us to make this movement again, or we'd be still stuck where we were. I mean, there's been a lot of deaths that's been came and gone. But that was a special blessing, and that man was 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 touching was ordained by god for some make a purpose in life for some reason i don't know god knows yes. but he helped us make a stand yes, and i want them to be so they trying to separate ferguson making this a ferguson thing from a, a whole world industry thing this ain't about ferguson let's stop the, 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 uh, the media you listen to me i want you to look at me media this ain't about Ferguson the most. This is about St. Louis, Missouri. This is about the whole United States of America. A police brutality is doing it to yeah. everybody. Yeah. We're just representing here yeah. because it's happening here. Yeah. But this is for the world. So I don't want people getting twisted when we scream out Mike Brown name. Mike Brown means we got to fight back, but it's about Mike Brown. No, this is for the whole world. Yeah. You, yours, your kids, and whoever else. Now what we have to do is to stick together. We gotta get a plan together. Because what we realize is that numbers can outdo them every time. So we have to get the city, North City, all of them involved because it's gonna take numbers to defeat them. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. They're not gonna stop. Trust me, they're not gonna stop. And we not gonna stop. But we need to spread the word. Well, we can get words, I don't care, signs out. Well, we can say stop black on black crime, set them up in the city, someone, we need to have our people so we can get everybody united. We can't do it by ourselves. We can't do it by ourselves. We're going to need everybody because this is an issue for the whole world. 
not just for Ferguson, or we're going to lose. We Upland, need California the whole is having a standoff in with police right now in solidarity, solidarity with Ferguson against anymore. police brutality. What we have to do is make this stronger and get our rest our comrades in. Northside City, University City, and start bringing them in to let them know they're not separate from Ferguson. They feel like it because I hear them. They hear they think it's a Ferguson thing. No, this is a nationwide. And if we spread that word to everybody, numbers will come and we'll outdo them and we'll defeat them. So we have to spread the word and, and push it further than Ferguson so everybody else can get on board because we need soldiers to fight. We got soldiers here, but we need more soldiers. We need more soldiers. Not just in Ferguson, county, city, yeah, that's what everybody. We need, going down we need right now. African American, we need all our other national races to join in if this is what you believe in if this is what you believe in because i will tell you something the tables are going to turn where well, you're going to have to decide which side you're going to go on you trust me you're going to be faced with that i'm letting you know you're going to be faced with that what side you really on they're going to make you choose it's going to time going to come they're going to make you do that so what i'm saying is if you believe in this then let's unite. I love everybody. Let's love each other. We can disagree to agree, but let's find a way of be, uh, unifying so we can make this thing work. Hey y'all, Oakland, California is hey, Oakland, California is standing up with police right now against police brutality and solidarity with Ferguson. It's a standoff right now between peaceful protesters and violent ass riot police because they saying this type of shit is an epidemic across the country mm -hmm. and they tired of it happening in California, in New York, in Ferguson, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so just know that while you talking about this is something for the world, right. the world ain't forgot. That's but right. we do need to do more work in our community because there should be more people we here, more work here right now. We gotta do more work here. I heard everybody doing this, everybody came out. Yeah, my name is Tanya. And I've been out here since. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Give me a better Tanya got arrested. We were doing jail support, waiting on her to get um, released when she got arrested at the Rams game after being spit on, which is also assault. Um, but she was arrested as the victim. Now she's going to speak. Hi, my name is Tanya. Thank everybody for coming out. But I'm going to tell you like this. This is, excuse me. This is my 17-year-old child. Right here. And uh, I, this is my 17-year-old child. And we was at the Rams game. And... My, my name is Tanya. That's good. That's good. And this is my 17-year-old child. This is my last one. And uh, we was at the Rams game. And uh, we was at the Rams game. My daughter say, Mike Brown. What, what you say? Mike Brown me. We got to fight back. And when she said, we got to fight back, the man, big, tall, he just did like this. Put it to your mouth and spit clean in my child's face. And I'm telling you, I did not like it. I did not like it at all, because I couldn't believe he did it. And I retaliated. I went to jail, and my child went to jail. I spent over 50 hours in jail. My child spent like 20 some hours. They had a $25,000 bond on me. Now, they did not like neither one of them people up for hitting us and spitting on us. But they did like me and my child up because of the, skin, the color of our skin. And that's ridiculous. And they so I asked the cop, I told the cop, I said, this man just spit in my child's face. The cop said, come on, lock her up. I said, oh, really? And he did. But I'm going to tell you like this. I've been out here since day one with the lost boys. Lost forces! Yeah, but I've been out here from day one to make a change because I have a two-year-old grandson. And I want well, we all need to get out here, vote whatever we need to do to do it. Thank you all for coming out to help us. We need more people to want to stand behind talking all that bullshit. I don't want to fucking hear none of that shit. If you you like, it, baby. Excuse me, I don't want to hear none of that stuff because I go to work and I do eight hours every day. Free man Sullivan. Free man, S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N, is the Oakland live stream link. They always talk about what we doing and how we doing. You ain't here, you just hear what the news means. Channel 2 News, do not 
Watch out! Yeah. Period! Because y'all laugh all the time! All of them, all of them, all of them. They lie, and we don't want them hurt. All of them, all They tell a story. They told that real story with that fight she talking about. And it made it look yes. like yes. all those protesters yes. just out there wilding out. That's not what happened. Yes. They, they, they don't have one picture of her, of her being spit on, of her being hit by them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the hell with that Fox News? Stop it. 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 Stop this woman right here, she's gonna read this, and we gonna repeat out to her. This is this pledge that, I mean, we all in unity, I, I think we all agree with it. So just take this time, when she read it, we gonna repeat out to her, please. And we gonna do it like in unity. Wait on you to read that pledge. Okay, what kind of society do we want to live in? What kind, what kind of society, society do we want to live in? Live in? Police brutality and police murder police are dead. So simple that we gonna repeat after you. Okay. Police brutality and police murder are daily occurrences, yet brutal. Police brutality and police murder are daily occurrences, yet brutal. Black lives and Latino people, especially the youth, are treated like criminals. Guilty until proven innocent. If they can survive to prove their innocence, with their criminalization has led us to too much of the million people being warehoused in a 500% increase over the past 30 years. Tens of thousands of people in prison. They call it a person to sin, the term of where they live and the how they live. Today we pledge Black Lives Matter, Latino Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, Mass Incarceration, we say no more. Police murder, we say no more. Torture in the prisons, we say no more. Criminalization of generations, we say no more. Get my baby. Excuse me. I know I'm gonna have to figure out how to get around the crowd with my baby too. So y'all, I'm about to shut down so I can figure out how to get the car and the Hey, everybody loved what you said. They was like, the world needs to know whatever. Do you got a Twitter or something? Yeah, I got all that. What's your Twitter? Twitter, uh, at King, K-I-N-G-D-S-E-A-L-S, at King D. Seals. Okay, at King D. Seals, y'all. I know they're about to attack in Oakland. We ain't no stranger to that shit. That's why I'm out here. Fuck it. Yeah. Make it why it matter. Yeah, yeah, I'll rock with Oakland, real. Really. Oakland, California. Hey, you know, guys. Hey, I'm supposed to be down there right now with Uncle Bobby. Uh, oh, okay, Oscar, Oscar Grand Family. Grand family. Yeah, I already know. Yeah, I'll rock with them real hard, but. Well, I, like I, right I, now. Holding me back. I can't man, I just gotta say thank you for speaking. 
Everybody, it was very powerful, the shit you said. Man, Oakland is standing off with the police right now. They about to get attacked. That's how I tell Cole now. That's how I Where'd you go? My brother huh? did well, you go. I was documenting Occupy's flu because nobody was covering that with cameras. You got to be careful to walk up by yourself. But I wasn't. I wasn't. I was with Tribex. And I'm like, dialogue is just as important as the spectacle. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So, hey, y'all, I'm about to figure out what I'm about to do with the baby and get the car on the road, and then uh, the stream is coming back up. Yeah, I'm good. How about you? So I need y'all to sh uh, stay tuned, but I'm about to shut down and, and get with the march and figure all that out. All right. Okay, so basically, Oakland is getting attacked right now by Oakland Police Department in the streets hella violently because they fucking doing this shit in solidarity with Ferguson. Who is? 